our windows 2019 server is already installed and here i'll be running ping 192.168.240.1 which is my pf sense just to see if i get the response i'll use dash t to get continuous response because i'm going to do the real-time migration of this server from this particular node which is pve to pve2 in pve1 if i show you the status right now 21 percent of the cpu is being used and 59 percent of memory and here i have the capacity available in 100.3 so i can utilize this memory over here so what i'll do here I'll simply go to PVE, click on server 222 and at the same time I can see the console here also and we'll make sure that there is no downtime. Ping response is continuous here and I'll just right click here, migrate and migrate to PVE2, from PVE to PVE2 and migrate. We'll see this how long it takes, it should not take much time without downtime it should migrate you can see here start the remote tunnel here migrating migrate has transferred on real time so it is only transferring the vm state right now you can see it did not take much time vm state has been transferred and if i show you now i'll just close this here on 222 console and i don't see any downtime here you can see on real time this has migrated without any ping break even even with windows operating system there is a lot of uh, load on this but still it could transfer directly from here to here now if i show you the data center you can see that load has been distributed cpu is 16 percent here and 16 percent I can even now migrate this from here to PVE3. Of course, PVE3 is using Intel Celeron processor, uh, but we can also migrate on real time. Let me show you the console again here. Ping is continuous here. Now I'll again migrate from PVE2 to PVE3 and migrate. Again, it's not going to take much time. I don't need to fast forward this. The VM state is being migrated without migrating the disk because disk is shared in the ceph storage here you can see it has been completed and server is now in pve3 and you can see here without any downtime the server has been migrated you can see there is no ping break and if i show you the status now the load has been again distributed pve3 did not have any load now the load has been brought into that so this way you can do the migration on real time from one node to another node. So this was about migration where Ceph is the shared storage between all the Proxmox nodes. It improves the performance for disaster recovery. This is the best configuration that I must recommend. Let us now move to the next lecture.